what is Gucci everybody? Today I'm going to be telling you guys exactly how I make my thumbnails. So I don't want to talk about, oh, so to make the thumbnail you have to make the video first and all that jazz. That's a completely separate video, completely separate video. Different day, different month, different year, maybe, I don't know. Right. So the app, I not app, the uh, website I use is called Visme and you guys are probably like, wow. Wow, I'm actually shocked. I thought you'd use like Photoshop or something. No, I, I, I ain't buying nothing. I do everything for free, literally. But I mean, the, they look real good. What was that? You meant to do this, not that. <laughs> Anyways, so when you first open it up, guys, by the way, it's completely free, so it's alert. So when you first open up, you guys have all the uh, projects you have open up. So normally what I do is I keep one project and I just edit it. If you want to create something good, so this is like a bit of a philosophical, I don't know, I'm having these moments a lot lately, but this is um to produce good things and to do it quickly, I simply kind of create like a template type of thing. So let's go into this real quick and I'll show you guys real quick as well. Next time I say real quick, someone punched me in the face. So here it is. You got the picture of me, you got the text saying help me, you got Roblox, you got the screenshot, you got it all right there. But how... Ha, ha, how, how does this all happen? How? How? So, let's get right. I'm not going to say that word. Okay, let's just get rid of everything right here on this template. And I'm going to show you guys word, word for word exactly what I do. And it's going to be easy. So, let's get rid of everything real quick right here now. Let's remove the background. See, blank canvas is what you guys start with. So, it doesn't look like much right now, but we're about to get... Some work done, boys. So, first thing I always do is I like to add in the photo. So, say the photos of Roblox. So, what we're going to do is I go to my library or I go to upload image and I will upload an image of the screenshot I took. So, I'm assuming you guys know how to take screenshots, but I'm just going to choose one here and we're going to choose, um... God, so many. <laughs> I mean, this is all blurred out right now. You can't see anything, but I mean, we'll just choose, um, what's something cool? This looks cool. This looks cool. All right, let's do this. Add to canvas. Well, I mean, you could always just hit set as background, but I just did that the difficult way. So let's see. Actually, that works really well. So right off the bat, you guys, you have the image right there. So normally it stays until what, like, stays confined in the box, but I didn't do it that time. So we're cool. So... <laughs> What you have here is the photo. So before it was all cropped out and stuff, it just looked like you had everything there. You had the names on the right, you had the mouse, you had everything in the way and you're like, I don't want that, it just looks like crap. So what I do is I crop it out a little bit and kind of came out to something like that. So it's gonna be a little weird at first being like, why is this all like this? Maybe maybe I'll even show, I'll just I'll speed it up guys, don't you worry. That took absolutely ages, but it's back. So what I do is go to scale and then you just scale it and then you just make it like, so it's, you can, I have kind of like a good judgment. We can tell where it's zoomed in and up to the point where you can then pan the camera out to wherever you want. Like right there, that's a good idea. So you can have the text right there on the left and Roblox right there on the right and the words in my face and all that. So the next step is to, well, what I like to do is I like to go into filter and when, when you're picking out YouTube thumbnails and stuff, you want to choose one that, that sticks out, that pops out the most out of every single one. So I like to crank that saturation up all the way. <laughs> so you get a nice, vibrant, punchy colors, which genuinely should attract people in general instead of saying having just some black and white one. I don't know, man. But let's get into it. So next, we're going to go back into my library and we're going to end the Roblox logo here. So Roblox, add to canvas. Bang, we got the Roblox logo in here. And then we're gonna throw it right down the bottom right hand corner because you gotta know it's Roblox. So basically that also ties into how I titled the videos instead of having to say Roblox at the end, it says in the thumbnail, so you know exactly what the video is about. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Now, I feel like I feel like we're missing something. I feel like we're missing my face. So it's actually kind of funny. What I normally do is I go into my camera and I take a picture of my face. I'm not gonna do it now, but I do it on the webcam and take a picture of the face saying a weird facial expression like, or like, or like, something. It's just, it's, they're weird to do, but in the end, they, they work out really well. So that's what I do. So I'm going to choose one that I already have pre-made. I choose a bunch of them and 
We'll do that real quick. So I'll show you guys that real quick. That's upload image. But I mean, these are some of them right here. So I'll just throw in this one, for example. So you got the image, guys. You got me chilling right there. You got that. And then you're gonna make it make it a little bit bigger. Why, why not? Why not make it real big? Okay. And then why don't we make it a little bit bigger? <laughs> too big is too big. Too big's a problem though. You want to make sure it has like a nice balance. And then sometimes, because the face and the camera is always backwards, you flip horizontally. And now I'm sort of facing the, the viewer or whatever might be happening. So I'm not looking this way while the action's that direction. So it doesn't look weird or anything. So there's that out of the way. And then also what I do is I, I don't go into Photoshop. I don't remove the background. I simply go and select the photo, add the photo. And then literally within seconds, you have the cropped background that you need. Do I want to spend all that extra time? This is a smart way of doing it, in my opinion. Do I want to spend all that extra time? I mean, I know it's always good to learn a program and stuff and how to edit, but I believe that this is a fast way to get good results if you just want a face. So you guys can do that, and that's how I get that in there. And now we're going to add the text real quick, boys and girls, adding that good old-fashioned text. So this is where the font's going to come, and everyone's going to be like, oh, thank God. So we're going to title this video, uh, or just like something clickbaity. No, I wouldn't say clickbaity, but... Something that draws your attention, draws the curiosity in, and we're just going to choose, um, let me think real quick. We'll choose, um, just for the example right now, we're not going to choose anything crazy, we'll just say, OMG, MG. And then we're going to add exclamation point in there. So, next, I mean, you kind of can tell that doesn't really match the facial expression, so sometimes if I have an insane face going on, like, or like a... It, sometimes the text will vary. So say if the video was titled like OMG insane Roblox Arsenal gameplay and I choose a picture like this But the text said that it doesn't really match it So what you want to do is make sure they match so that's a bad example right there But you know, that's all right. So okay, ducky now So I put the text right there right up above and then sometimes I like to tilt a little bit to the right You know get some character in there then we're gonna go and choose the font. Oh my god You're finally telling us the font. Thank you so much Corio. You're, you're a god. All right, so the font I use is, I used to use this one. This was a nice font when I used to play Fortnite and stuff. But we have switched to Slapstick. Right there. Slapstick comic. Bang, look at that. It's font's tiny though. You don't want to see that though. So I like to just set it to like 500 or something. Literally though, that's almost the right size. So let's set it to 400. And so I like to play around with it sometimes seeing how it is. So we'll do 350 for this one because that should be about the right size. So it doesn't cut off my face a little bit. I'll lower that a little bit now there. OMG, and then we'll make the text white. So exclamation point, white. Again, make sure it's all cons, that's black. <laughs> Good, awesome. But now it just it's, it looks better, but it still looks like bland. So what I like to do next is I like to highlight it, and then you go into Effect. You go to Drop Shadow. Now you get sort of like this 3D type effect. And then to match the Roblox logo down the bottom, you go into Color, and then you just simply select Red. And look at that. You can see very slightly there is a red background. Then you can also change it up a bit. Say you want like that. What I normally do is I just have it either setting straight down or straight down to the right because just in the middle doesn't really do it justice in my opinion. But you guys can really choose out whichever direction that you want this to go even if you choose not to use this method to make thumbnails. So we'll just make it like that like I normally would. And then the final step which I normally do which I just is actually off camera but I go into my trusty phone and I just go on Snapseed, and which is another photo editor, which I will sometimes use to like further up the effects. So like when the video is published and everything, I'll look at it and say, is this viral enough? Does this catch my, does this catch the, the viewer's eye? And if it doesn't, then I go into it. I up the saturation some more because bright punchy colors win always, in my opinion. And it's just, 
that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll lighten up the face a little bit. I'll do maybe a little bit different things each time, but that is pretty much it, everybody. So hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial on how I make my thumbnails and why they look so cool, or I don't even know if these look cool or not. You know, man, in my opinion, these are really good thumbnails, but I'm always still trying to improve, trying to get the best quality stuff, best combination of things, always to work in the videos for you guys. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that bell notification to be part of the Bell Notification Army. And as always, I'll see you guys next episode of Thumbnails. Thank you for watching.